And then you have the sweat glands, which are transferring the alcohol above the skin. It's evaporating. And then it's collected in a chamber <clears throat> above the skin in the scram bracelet. So just like breath testing, the principle of Henry's Law has some application. So what are we talking about? Henry's Law essentially stands for the proposition that the pressure, as it indicates, the pressure of the gas above a solution is proportional to the concentration of gas in the solution. Let me explain to you what that means. If you've got a closed container, I don't know why this is here, but it's a, it's a great tool to use for this. This is a simulator jar, what some people call an artificial drunk. And the way this works is, for breath testing, the operator prepares a solution of alcohol and water and puts it in the simulator and then heats it up. And above the water, there is a vapor produced. And then the operator blows that vapor into the breath test machine. So if this is supposed to be an 08 solution, the vapor should be measured by the device as an 08. That's based on Henry's law. Because if you know if, if you can measure the vapor, if you can measure the vapor, you can guess what's in the liquid. 